I don't have no time for this. The back and forth I can't do because the manager said he called that manager and then I called that manager and that manager said he didn't hear from the other manager and I'm just like, all right. So guys, I'm trying to see if I can update you guys real quick, real, real quick um, on what's going on today. So today I go into a store for a little interview moment and to see how that's going to work out. So I'm running down there to see yesterday truth as I was going to change my mind because I was just like, listen, I don't have no time for this. The back and forth I can't do because the manager said he called that manager and then I called that manager and that manager said he didn't hear from the other manager and I'm just like, all right, what's up? Who called who and who didn't call who? So I didn't really have the time, but right now I'm headed to the, um, to the store to see what's up because the guy said to come in at 12 today, so I'm going to go pop by and see what's up like i said um here's ready and everything so i'm gonna come back later actually i was gonna take the bus but it's already 11 o'clock and i can't find no quarters and then um on top of not being able to find any quarters for the bus i don't know i don't know if there's any money on my metro card so i just checked uber and it said it's 12 dollars to go so i'm gonna uber real quick and i think that's gonna get me there a little bit quicker and still early because i do want to get there a little bit earlier than the time because I was just informed that there's a baby shower that I may or may not have to go later. So if I'm not going to, sorry, if I'm not going to stay, then I need to get back in time to go to said baby shower. So um, I I got to see what's up. So I just called the Uber. I'm going to go throw the rest of the stuff in my bag, put my shoes on, lotion my hands, and then maybe I should go. While I'm talking about this, just tinkled. Yeah, just tinkled and as we know the tinkle is very important for me if i don't before i go then i might just be crapped so um just did that now i'm putting some lotion on so i'm not like dry and crusty Wow, this is very looking, but I will have to do. Put my slip-ons on. I also just put some top coat on my nails this morning, so chances are that's going to look very shaky by the time I'm done, but whatever. I get the feeling that the guy might ask me to either stay today or come tomorrow. I don't know. One of the two. So, I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. Oh, now that I'm ready, I should call the Uber. Okay, gotta go all right so i did great got the job and i start tomorrow love that for me look at god um face looks nice too surprisingly i'm just wearing pressed powder i'm gonna put a little bit more on and because i'm gonna have to go to this baby shower so i'm gonna put a little bit more pressed powder on and figure out what i'm gonna wear to the people's baby shower but i'm gonna go sit in the air for a little bit because i am hot it's hot outside. I also just went to the um to the Dollar Tree, got some cash back, and walked to the train station to put um forty dollars on a metro card so I can go and come freely um this week because sorry, just now I didn't have no money on the metro card, so I had to Uber and I had to Uber back too because I couldn't find anywhere to buy a metro card. So I made sure that I got that situation taken care of now. I'm going to take my clothes off and sit in front of the air for a little bit and cool off and 
see how this baby shower planning um, goes. My hair's a little bit tight, so it's making my head hurt a little bit. So I need to figure that out too, because I hate headaches. But so far, pretty productive day. Doing good, you know, for myself. Can't complain. I need to find something cute for the baby shower. Is it a baby shower or gender reveal? Do they know what they're having? I don't know. Either ways, gotta figure it out. So I bought some things at the Dollar Tree just so I could get cash back. So I bought these because Tavia always has them and she swears by them. So I said, let me just try them and see how they work. Got these. And then I got some gum. Always have to have gum on hand. And then I bought these. It says, um, for your pores and whatever. But I'm going to need something to wash my makeup brushes on. Because I've been going the ratchet route. And I've been using a comb. <laughs> to pretty much just scrub the brushes on it also as we're talking if pressed powder is gonna make me look this good all the time who needs foundation even though i just found my perfect shade and foundation but who needs foundation my face feels light and airy and i love that might have to do this more often i just fixed my hair and stuff too but i'm gonna chill right now and get cool you know so guys i'm ready for the baby shower but i wanted to show you guys a little contraption that i use to take my pictures <laughs> so I have this set up. This is my tripod with my phone inside of it. And, uh-oh, this is the setup. Film me. And then here's the little remote. I bought this on Amazon for a couple of dollars. I think less than 10 and you press and it takes a picture. Isn't that amazing? Love that for me. Hi guys, so today, what is this? much better today was my first day back at work after going to school and lord new environment new people the girls that i was there with today they were super nice it was two of them and two guys it was super nice and you know a little bit different just getting used to new people it has never been my strong suit but it was not terrible at all it was not as bad as i expected it to be um there are actually some good things and I've, that I've already noticed, which I feel like is really good. But um, So I'm going to be working four days, unless somebody calls out and they like call me. Four days and then, um, yeah, so today is Sunday and tomorrow and Tuesday I'm going to be off, which I feel like is dope, honestly. But um, yeah, I just got home and it's like one bus right away on a night like, like tonight on a Sunday because the buses run crazy. I have to take two. But I could still wait for the other one. It's just that the other one would take a hot little minute to get there. And I don't, I didn't really have anything to walk up and down on the avenue and do to like actually wait for that bus. So I'm like, no, let me just take the two and then just come home. But I was starving. So I stopped and I bought a Philly cheesesteak. And listen, I couldn't even wait. I tore that shit up in the Uber on my way here because I was so hungry and I just came in and like had some water and stuff. But today was a super productive day. Super good day. Because I was not in this house. Because honestly, sitting down inside of here was really beginning to get to me. Just now, I was looking to see if I could find like a, a liquor store so I could buy back my wines that are done. But I didn't see anywhere I was buying the Philly and waiting for the bus. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm going to just go home. So I came home. So hopefully I can do that. I may, yeah, I think I could go do that tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be off. To, I need to do my nails too because today I was looking and I'm like, damn to um tuesday night is gonna be um two weeks so they're due for like a refill i'll show you guys it's time for them to be refilled so um i'm gonna do that tomorrow since i'm going to be off love that for me so right now right now i'm gonna i'm gonna print my schedule out so that I can have it to actually look at because it's super confusing the way how it's done. So I'm going to print it out right now and then I'm going to just chill. This is what I wore today but for the rest of the days I'm going to be wearing um, the uniform shirt because they do have that. And of course jeans but this is what I wore today. So super cash as expected. Anyways. That's what I have going on right now. I'm going to try and relax since I just came and stuff like that. So, um, later. So, my hair looks a little crazy right now. But let me see the person who looks glamorous every day. It's morning time. I just woke up. 
Um, also, I've been using this um, exfoliating black charcoal scrub thing. Have it in the bathroom with a little thing. Let me just, just show you guys. I've been using this on my face with this. This thing is really good. Oh my gosh, I'm running out. I mean, I still have a good amount left. You just need a little bit, maybe like one or two pumps. Especially on this, one or two pumps get the job done. But it's really good. It says it's a um, detoxifying charcoal cleanser. And I really love how it feels on my face. It feels really good on my face when I use it. But I mean, obviously, now that my face is dry and I have it moisturized. There's also a moisturizer for it. Now that my face is dry and I have it moisturized, you can see my problem areas where my eczema is kind of like zone them out you know i try to use this at least once or twice daily if i remember that joint was 30 dollars bro <laughs> so because it was 30 dollars i use it but i use it um lightly because i want it to last for a while but i've actually seen where you know my skin really likes it what is this on the couch i don't know what that is on the couch but need to get it off i popped into update because i was i was um editing the baby shower video and then i realized that i didn't really say anything or anything after that i was really waiting for a while to be picked up to go to the baby shower and then i went it was an amazing baby shower for a baby girl so nice i think that was my very first baby shower my friend is having a baby tassie is having a baby and her baby shower is in December, and that's going to be in between Atlanta and Alabama. I think it's Alabama, though. And I want to go so bad, but from this far ahead, I can't tell if I'm going to be able to go, even though I want to so bad, but she knows that I love her so, so much, and if I can't come, then, you know, I don't know, but I really wanted to surprise her and actually go to the shower i feel like it's amazing how much social media can do because we met on social media a couple years ago and we've been friends ever since the absolute closest friends sometimes it blows my mind how much we share with each other yeah so the baby shower was really nice and it was good. they got a lot of a lot of really cute stuff that puts baby fever at an all-time high <laughs> because the baby clothes are just so cute don't want to let me live the baby clothes are just so cute and i'm pretty sure the baby is going to be a cutie pie too anyways i just realized that i didn't end the vlog and i wanted to pop in and end it so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i look a little bit crazy right now but the next time i promise i won't look this bad i'll see you guys in my next video